I just finished a little mobile game. Let's see if I can get the high score. You can get the game for free on Google Play or on Itch. I like to start by jumping up and destroying the block I'd fall on. It's pretty satisfying. So how you play this game is you drag across the screen with your finger or with like your mouse if you're playing on a computer. And the further you drag, the more force it adds. I thought about maybe the quicker you swipe, the more force it adds. But know that the way it works now, how quick you swipe doesn't matter. It's how far you swipe. I got lucky here with a heart. That's probably the best item. When you're falling, as long as you're next to a wall, you can still jump. So if any part, sides, top, bottom, is near a wall, that you can still push off of it. It's a great way to slow down your fall or speed it up if you swipe down. These early levels are pretty easy, so you can go pretty fast, but you still gotta pay attention. I triggered a stalactite in the middle there and lost a heart for it. I didn't notice it because I was moving so fast it was off screen. But I get pretty lucky here and got another heart. If I can get that chest. Touching a sand block destroys it, but also you can destroy it sooner by tapping on it. Whenever I get to this section, I like to create a little hole for the snail to fall into, so that way it doesn't crawl through the hole that I make for myself and, and fall on me, because that'll happen. So you can make the stalactites fall on enemies too. I tried there, but I missed. So this power is TNT or dynamite, whatever you want to call it. And if you go fast enough, it'll create an explosion. But you can also swipe down when on the ground to trigger it. And the benefit of it, other than destroying blocks, is that you can kill enemies with it. Pretty tempting to go super fast here, but you gotta watch out because you could end up falling on a bat. There's a little trick for getting this chest. You just gotta land on the left and jump across. This section might look hard, but you can just destroy all the spikes that have dirt underneath them. I like to, uh, around 500, the sections get harder, and that's when I start to slow down a little bit and look ahead. As I was attempting to get the high score, there were definitely sections that I noticed needed tweaking, or I thought of ways to make them more fun because of frustrating ways they killed me. But um, I want to just thank everyone in the Discord community that submitted uh, bugs or sections that got them stuck or whatever. It really helped make the game better and I appreciate it. I got super lucky with all these hearts. If you want to get early access to future projects I work on and give me feedback on them, join the Discord community too. There's a link in the description. You can even submit um, art for this game and uh, like a skin or whatever, and I'll put it in. These sand sections are pretty fun. I tried to click super fast to not land on anything beneath them. It's also um, not a good idea to jump down without seeing what's below you. Like, I wouldn't have had time to destroy that spike if I went straight down. I've died plenty of times like that. So you used to get three swords and now you get one. I might switch it back to three swords, but um, 
I thought it was kind of OP. I'm trying to not use the sword. So I'm actually avoiding hitting enemies with it if I don't have to. For example here, I waited till the snail got to the left to go down. So I wouldn't waste it, you know? If you happen to be playing the game right now, or you're gonna play it, please also um, leave a review. I, I need some of those. <laughs> I totally thought I was gonna get that spike block, but I misclicked. So I missed it because I was falling and I totally didn't have to lose that heart. The whole clearing the path ahead of you is makes the game a little bit puzzly. I don't know if that's uh, good or bad. I, I was trying to have a mix of planning ahead and also rushing. Like for example, this section here, it just makes more sense to jump across and then use the stalactites to kill the snail. So I try to think of little puzzly elements in the section, but I know it's fun to go fast. So there are some sections that are kind of just meant to go quick, but sections like this one are meant to make you think of how to get through them. I think downhole could totally work as a roguelite where you had like a sword and you attacked enemies and stuff instead of like a physics game. But um, I don't know if I should work on that. It's really hard for me to decide what project to work on next. If you guys would love to play downhole as a roguelite where you attack stuff, let me know. But I don't think I'd make it a free mobile game if I was going to put that much more effort into it, you know? I noticed that I would have to jump over that snail there, which would be a pretty risky. So I just tiptoe behind it and try to clear the path, but the snail actually falls down into a little crevice that I still gotta avoid. So there wasn't really anything too easy about that, but I did it. This next section is kind of ridiculous and I made it easier. I end up uh, losing quite a bit of hearts here. And I even hit one of these bats and then rode it. And then I pushed it into the stalactite. One of the fun things in making a physics game is that you can't predict all the stuff that's gonna happen. So once in a while, some cool physics stuff can happen. I think it's a good way to add um, RNG and skill. But man, getting the physics right was really hard. Like the amount of force I add, the bounciness. I was messing around with that for a while. The original version was very different. There were two other people that worked on this game with me. Enche did the art and Morty did the music. So at around a thousand, um, the hardest sections start getting generated. And I think this is gonna, is gonna be some of them. They get pretty ridiculous, but I'm pretty lucky. Those two snails there though, they, they had me worried, but check it out, <laughs> one of them walked under a stalactite dude i got lucky and then here i ended up killing the other one too so if you plan ahead 
you can get a little bit of lucky sometimes. This section here I added recently and it might be too hard because look at that there's two stalactites on the left all those spikes there but I made it a little bit easier I removed one of those stalactites but still um, it might be kind of hard but I think if you make it to a thousand then um, you can make this jump This ends up being a pretty nice kill here. I have a stalactite go through four blocks. Got him. A lot of the things in this game are so satisfying to me. Like uh, making a snail fall on spikes, having stalactites kill enemies. Just destroying the dirt blocks is satisfying. This is one of those sections where you can kind of plan your route. I have this, um, I have a couple blocks in every section that are uh, RNG. So even if the same section gets generated, it will look different because some blocks will and won't be there or an enemy will or won't spawn. Where the coins appear is random too. It's a way for me to um, create a lot more variation without hand creating everything. And then in the levels mode, the level is a seed that generates the same uh, sections, but there's so much RNG within the sections that you can almost not even tell that the level is the same. I might have overdone it a bit with the amount of random stuff that can generate. This is one of the hardest sections here. I was trying to plan ahead, but um, there's that spike that you will fall on if you don't like uh, jump to the side or whatever. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> that was lucky. I got nothing to kill these enemies, so I gotta kinda wait till they're on the same side. It's not really a clear path, you know? It's pretty satisfying when you can just keep falling. I was trying to kill the snail with that stalactite, but there's so many spikes down there, I could have just let them fall a lot sooner. This section is one of the hardest. It gets me a little nervous. You gotta land on that one spot right there and not slip off, but um, it's actually not that hard. You could totally do it. Once in a while, even when you're in the thousands, you get a easy section generated. So um, the further you get, the harder sections generate, but there's still a slim chance that an easy section will generate. That way I can mix it up a little bit and basically the pool of possible sections that can generate increases the further you get. So one of the clever ways to kill a snail is to make them fall in spikes.
This next section is also just too ridiculous. Like, you pretty much have to fall right on the spikes. It is possible to wall jump and uh, not land on them, but it's pretty hard. This is one of the sections that I also ended up tweaking to be easier after playing. But it's not what killed me. This you see there, how I like wall jumped to not hit the spikes. <laughs> this, I, I get the same difficult section twice in a row. Let's see if I can make it past here without losing a heart. Look how crazy that looks. I did it. What ends up killing me is actually going to be a lot easier of a section. I didn't need to lose that heart. That was a pretty easy one to avoid. This is another section that's pretty easy, but um, I don't really like sections like this because it, it could be tedious. Like there, <laughs> I kind of had to follow the snail. I didn't really have much of an option. I could have tried to trigger the stalactite to fall on the snail, but I'd have to get pretty close to it to trigger the stalactite. I got lucky that snow didn't fall on me. But I can make it fall into the spikes. I like to get rid of the snails because they do sometimes fall on you. I had a lot of fun working on this game. It's really hard to say how long this game took me to make. Because I started making it for a game jam like two years ago and then I continued working on it, <laughs> I'll make an entire video talking about the process of making Down Hole. I, um, I wanted to release it and see what people thought before I put way too much more time into it because it's a free mobile game. So um, yeah, I'm not expecting too much from it, but I'd appreciate it if you gave it a shot and told your friends that they can't beat your score. <laughs> you know? This part's pretty easy. I don't know what I was thinking about for so long, but I think I got a little nervous when I saw that snail drop in, and then there's no way to kill it. So I gotta make sure that I go down when they're not near me. But I screwed up there. I panicked, but it bounced off the wall right into the spikes. I played for hours trying to beat Whispered's score, but Whispered, you are MVP, dude. I was pretty certain people are not gonna be as good as me, but you're a champ.